Fortunately, there is currently a gaping hole in terms of protection. Companies that operate on a global and national scale cannot simply pick and choose the rules they wish to follow. The BC and federal privacy commissioners say Aggregate IQ, the Victoria firm with ties to the Cambridge Analytica scandal, did break privacy laws when it disclosed the personal information of millions of voters. While we found some of AIQ services were covered by the consent of individuals, in many other instances, they were not. This included micro-targeted online profiling using social media, which was clearly not based on consent. The company provides election-related software and political advertising services. They did work with the Leave campaign during Brexit, as well as on a number of U.S. elections. You'll likely recall Aggregate IQ subsequently found itself at the center of the Facebook data harvesting scandal last year, since revealing they received vast quantities of data from clients and built tools to manage that information, including psychographic profiles, ethnicity and religion, political donation history, birth dates, email addresses, even magazine subscriptions, association memberships, inferred incomes, and home or vehicle ownership details. That information is then used to micro-target narrow groups for advertising campaigns on Facebook. It's not that their clients couldn't get that information or couldn't give it to AIQ, but they need to be clear with the individuals involved that this is how we're going to use their data. That data is then analyzed and used for intrusive targeting techniques aimed at swaying how we cast our ballots. These activities have put the integrity of our democratic processes at significant risk. Now, with both regulatory bodies finding Aggregate IQ did fail to get appropriate consent for how it uses and shares personal information, the company is agreeing to follow the commissioner's recommendations, which include implementing measures for obtaining valid consent and deleting all personal information that is no longer needed for legal or business reasons and we're going to follow up to make sure that's done. Uh, in British Columbia, I have order-making power should I not be satisfied that those um, uh, recommendations are being met. And what we need to do, and this investigation I think demonstrates it, is that we need to have tougher regulations. By the way, the report also found that Aggregate IQ did not take reasonable security measures to protect its information, and that played a role in a massive security breach in 2018. In Vancouver, David Zura, City News.